In this video, we will look at the sum of a geometric series. You will find this on page 59 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. The sum of a geometric series. For a geometric series with first term a and common ratio r, the sum of the first n terms is given by this formula where it's a is equal to 1 minus r to the power n divide 1 minus r. Or that this I use, okay, I'll come now to what I use. Or a where I just swap the ones and the r's. I use this one when r is smaller than 1. It's like a half or a quarter. So I put the big one, which is then 1, in front. Or if r is bigger than 1, like 2 or 3, then I put r's in front. So I always put the big one in front. Just remember, this is not equal to a 1 minus rn over r minus 1. So you cannot put 1 in front and then r in front. It's either the r's in front or the ones in front. So this will be incorrect. Now, it, it doesn't really make a difference. It's just with the calculation that it's easier if you just keep this in mind. But I'll explain it now to you. So find the sum of the geometric series 8 minus 4 plus 2 to 10 terms. So the sum to 10 terms. So the two formula, this one and this one, for the sum of a GP are absolutely equivalent to each other. There is not a correct or a wrong formula for some given value of R. The reason that there are two formula is to make just the calculation easier by using fewer negative signs. Let's demonstrate this with the example above. And I actually basically showed it to you. Because if you work out the value of R, you will get that the value of R is negative a half. So it is basically smaller than 1. So I will then, actually, the one that will be easier is to put the ones in front, like I did there. But if I was putting the R's, can you just see I'm ending up with more negative signs, but the answers will be exactly the same. So just keep that in mind. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one, C. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. 1, C. So 6 plus 2 plus 2 over 3 plus 1, 2, 3, and it's 2, 8 terms. I want it 2, 8 terms. So basically, I want S, 8. Don't forget that the value of A is 6, and the value of R, I can take, say this is T1, this is T2, then it's T2, divide T1, so it's 2 over 6, which is then a third. Okay, and then... Uh, the value, this is, I have all the information. So if you look at R, R is smaller than 1. So put, you're rather use then this formula. But again, remember, it's not really making a difference. So I'm going to use this where the 1's is bigger. Just remember, if you used 1 in front, you must also use 1 there. So, if I'm going to look at this, I'm just going to say S8. And in the place of A, I put 6. In the place of R, it's a third. In the place of N, 8. And it's 1 minus a third. And that's 6. Okay. You can basically just press this on the calculator. Now, how I like to press it is just to say 1 minus bracket 1 ABC3, close the bracket, to the power, that sign, 8, close the bracket, multiply 6, or equals, and first get this answer, and then multiply 6, and then equals, and divide by bracket 1 minus a third, or just divide by 2 over 3. But the final answer will be 8 and 80 over 81. That will be the sum of the first eight terms.